Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today I'm gonna be checking out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles XL Krang Android Body from the Loyal Subjects. So this is part of their BST AXN line. It's one of their new XL figures, and as somebody who has always loved the Krang Android Body, I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. So as you can see, he comes in this large window box packaging. And by XL, I mean, this is a big box. I mean, this box is uh, 11 and a half inches tall by itself. So that's a pretty beefy box there. But you can see all the accessories in there. Krang, poor Krang, he's just like packaged sideways. Wow, Shredder, how dare you? <laughs> the back of the box here uh, has just got like a digital render of the Krang figure inside. We've got a bio, we've got a cross sell showing all of the accessories included as well as uh, how to put the Krang inside the Android. So we'll definitely take a look at that. Let's go ahead and get this opened up and we will get a closer look at the figure. All right, we got our XL Krang outside of the packaging. So for scale, you can see that this Krang actually stands over eight inches tall, just a little bit there. And then of course we've got just a small under two inch tall Krang that goes with him. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the little Krang figure. Uh, as you can see, I just accidentally popped one of his tentacles out of socket. That is by design. There we go. Now it's popped all the way back in. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. But he's a very cool looking little crane. In fact, he reminds me a lot uh, in size and shape of the vintage crane. So I thought I'd bring in a vintage crane figure here just to show them side by side. This one does have much more of an animated appearance to him which is pretty cool, but looking at those side by side is always fun to see. A little comparison time to start the video off. So otherwise he is just molded in a pink plastic with a little bit of paint deco on the front with the eyes, the teeth, and the tongue. And as I showed you, those tentacles there can swivel. You got the hinge joints actually, so you can move them in and out. The removable tentacles are so that we can put them inside of this Android body. So to actually put Krang inside of his Android body, I actually thought this was pretty clever. Uh, the actual upper body just unclips and then folds backwards. Look at that. You actually just have like a little hinge joint there. So the upper body folds backwards. Um, but then of course, we're gonna wanna remove those tentacles from Krang, like I showed you accidentally a little bit ago, but those just pop right out of socket. And then you can see there's a little peg that fits into this little indent in the bottom of Krang here. So, so we'll set him right in there and we will plug him in. It doesn't actually fit on there super tight, but it does hold him in place. And then you can see that already on the inside, there are little tentacles that are holding onto the controls, which is pretty cool. Now I will say one thing about that, those little tentacles are not removable. Those are permanently on the inside. So if you did want to display Krang, you know, with the other tentacles on the outside, these are always going to be there. And that's a little bit of a bummer. I mean, it almost kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> like I kind of wish those were removable as well. But regardless, I do think that this is very cool and it looks really good. Look at that. And then we can just clip the body closed. And now we've got Krang on the inside of his Android body. It looks really good. I like that quite a bit. So the overall Android body is really nice. It feels sturdy, it feels solid. I like the bright colors on there. Uh, you can see the body is just kind of molded in that flesh tone, but then it's highlighted in these very metallic silver paints that you can see on the shoulder straps there. You can see around the wrists, on the knee pads, you know, various points around here. You got the bright yellow, of, of course, across the belly area where Krang's cockpit is. And then you got the bright red on the hands and the boots and the pants uh, so it's really nice looking you know there's not like a lot of extra detail like shading or anything like that uh, but this is still pretty cool looking I like it quite a bit and here is what you can expect with the articulation so that head at the top is on a joint that basically just allows it to look left and right. You get a little bit of up and down movement, but because of the sculpt there, it's uh, not going to move up and down too much. The arms can move outwards at the shoulders. They're very tight joints. Kind of got that ratchet thing going on there. You can also move forwards and backwards. You do have a swivel at the bicep. You have a bend at the elbow. It is double jointed. This is one thing that I think is really weird. Those elbow joints are so weird looking uh, because they just have these huge like cuts in the arms. Like 
Look at that. Look how strange that is. <laughs> like, the articulation functions well, but these just look so weird because of these giant gaps that it leaves in the arm when you actually bend those elbows. Uh, the wrists can swivel as well as hinge there. Um, the torso actually does turn at the waist there. And the legs can go outwards. They can slightly move forwards and backwards. It is a little hindered by the pants there. Uh, you can swivel at the thighs. You got double joints at the knees. Same kind of thing there, though it's not quite as prominent, the big gashes there. And then you can swivel at the boots. Uh, it does not, I think there's a hinge joint in here. It, oh yeah, it's in there. It's actually pretty tight. There you go. There's a hinge joint underneath the boots. So you can actually move the feet forwards and backwards. All of the articulation does feel sturdy on this guy, which is nice. He does balance well. So like I said, he feels really nice, really nice feeling figure. So one of the things I would also like to do is kind of show his scale alongside some different Ninja Turtles action figures. So for example, uh, this is one of the turtles from the Loyal Subject. So this is from the same toy line here. And those figures stand a little over five inches, five and a half inches tall or so. Um, so you can see the scale of the Krang next to their basic figures. Uh, but we'll just go and throw some others in here as well so you can see how he measures up. There's Mutant Mayhem. Here is Vintage TMNT. And we'll just go ahead and do one of the NECA figures as well that way you can just get a good look at what this new krang looks like alongside of the different scaled ninja turtles action figures and there's a lot of really cool interchangeable parts with this guy so first of all you can see right now he's got the open hands you do have closed fists that you can put on the figure instead and this is done just by pulling the hand right out of socket you can see the peg there and then we can pop the closed fist in in its place that looks very nice. But we also have a slew of weapons that we can put on in the hands instead. So if we pop this hand off on this side, for example, we can replace it with this axe weapon. Again, the same metallic silver as the rest of the silver on the figure. It can spin around, which is pretty cool. Um, so I really like that quite a bit. We also have a sword weapon. So we'll just pop the axe off and we'll put a sword on there instead. Boom, just like that, really cool looking. And you also have two of these guns. Um, these are all really nice. Like I love how they're highlighted with like metallic blues and reds. Again, the silver is so shiny, they look really cool. So you can get one gun or double wielding guns, pretty cool stuff. So there's lots of interchangeable parts there for swapping out to do some really fun stuff with Krang, um, you know, straight out of that original animated series. All in all, this is a really fun little figure here. And I'm a big fan of Krang and his android body, so we definitely can't go through this without some comparison time. Let's go ahead and stand him alongside some of the other Krang android bodies that have been released over the years. Uh, let's go ahead and just start with the NECA one, because the NECA one is around the same scale. It was also based on the animated series. But here you can really see the difference between the two. The biggest difference, of course, is like the NECA one has definitely got a lot more paint detail going on, a lot more shading, kind of has the black outlines to look more like the cartoon. Um, but, you know, they actually both look pretty cool on their own. It's interesting looking at them side by side because the Loyal Subject one definitely has more of a toy feel to it. So with that said, I also want to stand them alongside the figures from Playmates Toys. Um, I'm gonna, here's the little one. This is the smaller version that came out in the basic figure line. So you can see he's much bigger than that. Then of course there's the giant one that I think most fans are very familiar with. And we'll just do like a giant Krang Paris in time here. I'm also gonna throw in that third party Krang Android body, which came out a few years ago. It's also really cool looking. It's just neat seeing all these different versions of one of my favorite Ninja Turtles baddies in action figure form. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new XL Krang in his Android body from the Loyal Subjects. All in all, I do like this. I think this is a pretty nice figure. Like I said, he's fun. I like the really shiny silver paint on there. He's hefty, he's solid. He's got some fun interchangeable parts. Uh, I haven't had a lot of the Loyal Subjects figures yet in my collection just because there's so much dang turtle stuff out there. It's hard to pick and choose, but obviously Krang being one of my favorites, I was very curious about this. And I do think this is a pretty fun figure. And I'm looking forward to some of the new things coming out from the folks over at Loyal subjects. 
Thank you guys so very much for watching this video, and until next time.